Ariel Halwani post fight at UFC 157 alongside Court McGee, who just defeated Josh Neer in very impressive fashion. And I just got word, Court, according to Fight Metric, you landed the most significant strikes in UFC welterweight history, and they're making sure right now, maybe even in UFC history. Wow. That's a dominant win. Wow. I don't have any words. So. Are you impressed? That yeah. you, that, that, are you surprised that you landed that many significant strikes? I don't know, Mike. Coach John Hackleman said, punch and move, punch and move, angles, punch, punch, punch. And it's just, I just, I hit that guy as many times as I could to put him out. How'd you feel in there as a welterweight? I felt really good. I felt strong inside. I felt like I could punch and I could move. I felt like I was trying to put too much weight on to stay, you know, big because I didn't have a hard time cutting at 85. And I just feel a lot better. I feel faster and I feel stronger. And I feel like I, I'm... I'm ready to compete in this weight division. How was the weight cut this week? It was phenomenal. It came off so well. Um, it came off just as easy as my 185 cuts, which was very surprising because I was nervous. But you know what? Uh, it's progress, not perfection. Does so, a part of you almost wish that you did this earlier? Um, no, I don't have any regrets. I learned a lot from uh, my last three or four fights and um, you know, it just came time to uh, get a little sharper and put more into it. And so I just did the best I could to get down to weight and uh, be as professional as possible so I can come out and compete in this, in this division. I loved it, man. I, you know, win, lose, or draw, I told myself before I walked out there, I'm just going to give it my hell. I don't care if I lose or I win. I'm going to just kick ass and give it all I got. And that's what I did. You know, you were very dominant in the first round. Second round, he came on a little stronger, and then you put him away in the third. What did your corner tell you between the second and third round in order to really ensure that victory? Well, I, I, I hesitated uh, right at the end there. When I put him down with the body shots, uh, I kicked him, and then I landed some liver shots, and I hesitated a little uh, to open up a shot. And I should have just hopped and took his back a little sooner because... Uh, I had a rear naked on pretty tight, and I think he would have went out if I had a couple more seconds. So uh, next time, no hesitation. Just get after it. Who makes sense for you next? Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. So I'll let Joe and uh, Dane and those guys figure that out, and uh, I'll go right back. You know, Thank God I'm not injured, and so that means I can get back to practice right after uh, I take my wife and kids to Disneyland. Com compliments of Will and Heather Farah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Final thing for you. I know you were very excited to be fighting on the same card, on a UFC card, as your teammate Brock. He yes. had a tough night. How do you sort of ignore that as you're about to go into a big fight for yourself um, an hour or so later? I don't ever watch fights before. I don't even watch the fights in the dressing room. I glimpse at him a little bit, but I like to stay calm. And I just asked my teammate, Danny, if how he did, and he said he got caught with a knee bar. And I know that he's really worried, uh, you know, but... Man, everything works out the way it's supposed to. And sometimes you lose and sometimes you win, but it's what you do next. And, uh, you know, you just got to be grateful for what you have. And I'm, I'm grateful for my friends and family. So many people came out here to support me. At least 100 people drove from Utah. And, uh, you know, uh, Dana White and the Fertitas, they, they pay me exactly what they tell me and sometimes even more. And I couldn't be more grateful. Well, congratulations on a huge win for you. Very impressive stuff. Looking forward to what's next for you, Court. Thank you.